The Lebanese resistance movement has reportedly escalated hostilities against Israel following heightened exchanges of fire along the Lebanese-Israeli border. Locals residing in the vicinity have claimed increased confrontations between Lebanon and Israeli forces. The recent attacks are being described as the most significant and intense clashes since 2006. This surge in violence, accompanied by the use of substantial weaponry from both sides, has stirred fears among locals, indicating a possible unspoken declaration of official conflict by the Lebanese resistance movement against the Israeli occupation. The resistance movement purportedly executed seven anti-Israel operations in response to Israel's actions in Gaza. Targets included the Ramim barracks near the occupied Lebanese town of Hunin and the Al-Rahab site. There were also reports of strikes against Israeli forces at the Mitat barracks and the Hajj al-Shatula site near the occupied Lebanese village of Tarbika. These actions were claimed to be in solidarity with the Palestinian people in Gaza and support of their courageous resistance. In retaliation, Israel carried out intense bombardments, targeting various towns in southern Lebanon, including the outskirts of Tir Harfa. Leaflets were reportedly dropped in southern Lebanon, cautioning residents against aiding Hezbollah. Subsequently, additional leaflets were dispersed due to the wind scattering the initial batch. Hezbollah announced that it has launched 509 assaults against occupation forces since October 8th, employing drone attacks, guided missile launches, and artillery shelling. As a result of these clashes, over a hundred individuals have lost their lives on the Lebanese side, including more than a dozen civilians. The movement remains committed to continuing its retaliatory operations as long as the occupation army persists in its warfare against the besieged Palestinian territory. The ongoing fighting has led to the evacuation of tens of thousands from the northern part of the Israeli-occupied territories, which have been subjected to rocket fire and shelling by Lebanese resistance fighters and allied Palestinian groups. The situation increasingly indicates that the Lebanese resistance is poised to embark on a prolonged defense of Lebanon against Israel's attempts to seize control of the southern flank of the country. Occupation forces perceive Hezbollah's presence there as a significant threat that needs to be eliminated permanently. Hezbollah said it had targeted Israeli army outposts in a number of locations, and Israel says it responded by hitting its infrastructure and positions. Not long after that statement, that's a rocket that you're hearing just behind me there. And during a live... Well, this Cabinet happened. Minister Benny Gantz issued a warning, stating that if the international community failed to address the matter diplomatically, Israel would be compelled to push the Hezbollah Liberation Group away from the Lebanese border. Gantz, while visiting Ma'alot Tarshihar in the Upper Galilee, invited top Western diplomats to witness firsthand the threat posed by Hezbollah. Simultaneously, during Gantz's speech, rocket sirens sounded in the mostly evacuated northern town of Kiryat Shmona. The Israel Air Force conducted strikes on several resistance targets in Lebanon amid the ongoing exchange of fire with the resistance group along the northern border. An attack helicopter and drone targeted sites in southern Lebanon, including a rocket launcher utilized for firing projectiles into northern Israel. The Lebanese resistance has staunchly declared a state of war, mobilizing substantial forces to counter Israeli threats, emphasizing readiness to inflict a strategic defeat on Israel akin to the 2006 conflict. The group asserts that the condition for calm along the northern sector of the Israeli-occupied border rests on peace and diplomatic efforts in Gaza. Having amassed thousands of troops along the border, they meticulously identify potential targets for potential decimation should tensions escalate. Haji Mohammed, the spokesperson for the resistance, affirmed Hezbollah's active participation in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict by initiating regular attacks on the Israeli occupation forces. He highlighted the Israeli army's lack of achievement in its assault on Gaza, noting its adverse reception within the international community. The global response to Israel's actions is a matter difficult to ignore, according to Mohammed Afif.
The bloodshed in Gaza prompted the UN to invoke Article 99 for the first time in decades, allowing the Secretary General to raise concerns with the UN Security Council about matters threatening international peace and security. Philippe Lazzarini, the head of the UN's Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, UNWA, echoed the sentiment, stating that Israel's assault rendered Gaza uninhabitable. OMT News analysis underscores the seismic impact of the Lebanese resistance movement's war declaration on Israel. The escalating exchanges of fire in the borderlands bear witness to its resonance. The implications of an intensified conflict between Hezbollah and Israel extend far beyond immediate casualties and destruction. Such an escalated conflict could plunge the region into deeper chaos escalating tensions and jeopardizing the fragile stability of the Middle East. These consequences could reverberate globally, altering geopolitical dynamics and potentially involving neighboring nations in the conflict. At this critical juncture, the international community faces a pivotal moment in averting a catastrophic escalation of hostilities. It is imperative that diplomatic efforts be redoubled to de-escalate tensions, urging restraint and dialogue to prevent further bloodshed and the potentially catastrophic fallout of a full-scale war. A peaceful resolution is paramount, requiring unified efforts to address underlying grievances and establish a sustainable path toward reconciliation and peace in the region. The escalating conflict between Hezbollah and Israel poses significant dangers, threatening to deepen the already tumultuous situation in the Middle East. Swift and determined international action is essential to mitigate immediate risks and facilitate a peaceful resolution, averting a potentially devastating escalation that could have far-reaching consequences for the region and beyond. Meanwhile, China, Saudi Arabia and Iran have jointly urged for an immediate cessation of military operations in Gaza and the provision of sustainable relief to Palestinians in the besieged enclave. This call emerged from a meeting among the deputy foreign ministers of the three countries in Beijing, following up on the reconciliation agreement known as the Beijing Agreement between Saudi Arabia and Iran. The joint statement emphasized their concern over the ongoing situation in the Gaza Strip, recognizing it as a threat to regional and international peace and security. Additionally, the statement strongly rejected any attempts to forcibly displace Palestinians from their lands. Furthermore, the three nations stressed that any future arrangement concerning Palestine must align with the aspirations of the Palestinian people, supporting their right to establish an independent state and determine their destiny. Meanwhile, recent heavy rains have compounded the already dire conditions in the Gaza Strip. The United Nations humanitarian teams have expressed deep concern regarding the escalating health crisis amidst ongoing Israeli raids targeting various districts of the Strip. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, reported widespread flooding in many areas of Gaza, further exacerbating the suffering of displaced individuals. Approximately 1.9 million people in Gaza have been compelled to flee their homes, with over half seeking refuge in the southern town of Rafa. Unfortunately, conditions there offer little respite as they remain vulnerable to Israeli airstrikes and ground incursions. Support our efforts by liking and sharing this content.
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay informed about the latest developments in Palestine. Until our next update, peace.